Howdy folks. So this video is about accessibility in Power Apps. A, a very little slice of accessibility in Power Apps. When, so what I've seen is whenever we build uh, solutions in Power Apps or any other technology for that ma matter, uh, a lot of people tend to ignore the accessibility uh, side of things. And what do we even mean when we say accessibility? In very simple words, accessibility means that uh, anyone who is using your solution, uh, whether it's an able-bodied person or a person with disabilities, can use it without any problems, right? So uh, if you're looking at a solution like this, think about, think about what's going on here. It's a lot of text, it's a lot of reading that we are asking for from our, cust from our, from our end users, right? Um, now think about someone who has dyslexia. So uh, dyslexic people generally tend to uh, not be comfortable with reading text. Uh, and, and not just people with dyslexia, but there are other people as well who, who tend to uh, comprehend well when they're listening and not reading, right? So, so in those situations, having the ability to hear becomes much more important than reading. So, uh, so if I were dyslexic and if I had to read all of this stuff, I, I think I would struggle. And, and it'll, it will become a not very comfortable experience for me. Uh, but because of these amazing controls and connectors and formulas and power apps, we can actually provide them, uh, our end users, the ability to listen instead of just reading, right? So so if you look at here, um, this is an, an audio control, right? So uh, what we are doing here is, so we used uh, this media control right here. It's called uh, audio, right? And within this audio control, what we are saying is we're using just one formula, right? So we're using the Microsoft Translator connector, first of all, and all we are saying is use the text to speech formula to to speak what's written okay so uh, essentially and also just to give you some background what this is doing is this is a gallery of uh, tweets uh, coming from various like you know hashtags and search keywords etc so this is a list of all accessibility related tweets apple accessibility assistive technology etc and uh, so each of these are, uh, you know, so this is just a list of tweets, right? And then all we are saying is, in this case, uh, just just speak what's written. Okay, so if you want to hear, uh, so if I just press play here. RTM and MetaSC enable. A picture is worth a thousand words. And alternative text for an image should embody the meaning and context of a visual it. Right? So it's as simple as that. Now, if I do not like reading or if I have trouble reading, I can simply listen to uh, what's written instead of, you know, reading it. Uh, one thing that would be nice is uh, having the ability to, like, kind of control the speed. Some people like to listen to it much faster. Some people like to, like, slow it down. Uh, it, it doesn't exist uh, as a property in uh, in the audio control, but hopefully that will be something that will be added in the future. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th that's what's happening here, right? So you, just with one formula, you provided an accommodation that will be appreciated by a, a very large set of audience out there. And also, uh, if you're wondering why I have two of these, uh, you know, blocks of text, uh, identical blocks of text here. It's not necessarily ident identical, but just to show you. So this one is just the, the tweet, right? So it's whatever is coming from Twitter that's being displayed here. But this one here is actually a translation. So what I'm doing here is that, uh, well, first of all, we are identifying or detecting the language of the tweet, right? So, and that's what's being displayed here. So whatever is listed here, we are detecting the language and listing it here. And in this, in this little label here, what we are saying is, if the language is not English, translate it to English, right? So what that gives me is uh, the ability to uh, uh, read and understand tweets that are not in the language that I know or understand. So again, it just like enables me in many other ways and it just like helps me 
uh, kind of spread my wings and fly and, you know, just open up my horizons. So uh, so these are the kinds of things you can do with uh, Microsoft Translator and just like make your make your application much more human centric, you know, so uh, just really ensuring that anyone and everyone who is using your solution can use it without any trouble. Uh, hope this was helpful and uh, I, I hope when you when you create solutions in the future you keep these kinds of things in mind uh, and and again you know just uh, you can provide something like this through a settings area on your app right so uh, create a settings area and just say hey enable text to speech and if they if the person says yes make this control visible or something like that right so uh, but it's very little work but uh, the results are very very amazing anyway i'll shut up Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.